Hello, uh, welcome back to some more forestry stuff. I've actually managed to get an instance where I've got the whole lot. There's only 12 chromosomes now. Oh no, that's a flower chromosome. Hmm, it's got pH tolerance on it. I remember doing this in my botany video actually. But yeah, the great thing is though, I've got the whole lot. Extra bees, gingerstry, and magic bees. This is what I actually wanted, but it was quite hard to actually. It, it kept on crashing, um, and I found a version that is actually going to work together. So even though it, uh, and that's pretty good. I do wonder what watery bees are like though, because the one problem is is that I've noticed that if you don't have binnies mods in it. Oh no, that's still there. So that is the that is the magic bees one, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you see, this doesn't make any sense now. Yeah, so that is a high level B in Binny's mod. See, this is this is why I was thinking of just having I could have a forestry and magic bees and then a forestry and uh, Binny's. The real problem was I couldn't get forestry and Binny's to work, but now that seems to be okay. Oh, so that isn't a problem at all, actually. Yeah, no, I did. I must have got confused. I got confused with water and watery. Yeah, there's these small little things uh, that is, is if you don't if you, if you forget how they work, um, control. But yeah, um, we're in pretty good shape though now with this. Um, so we look at princess, let's see how many we've got. Four pages of princesses now. Pretty cool. Um, I kind of know... Let's see the dreaming princess. That sounds like a nice bee. Ooh, no recipe for it. Trying to find a let's see if we can find a high level B. This looks pretty high level seeing as it hasn't even got any uh, products. I'm not interested in B products at the moment really. Uh, let's just do um what is it? Not floor in a box. Let's just do database. I want to see which one I want. Uh, obviously the B one, actually. So I think we should be able to see the tiers. There's no search button, though, is there? I'd like to see eight for the desolate. I'd like to see nine. Let's find the, the let's find the B with the most. This is actually something I did in the past. I looked at these bees because these are obviously spawner bees. Um, I could try them again, to be honest. Um, what was the one I had? Celeb celebratory. What's that? Complexity eight. I wonder what that means. Complexity eight, though. So one, two, three. Uh, that makes it look weird. I feel like if it's plus two, minus two, then the range must be four. And obviously, when you actually look at the biomes, it's always like, you know, like humidity 100% and, and temperature 50%. Um, the range is definitely four anyway. I wonder, I wonder what sort of changes we do have here though. Probably not much. But yeah, it's cool to it's really cool though to have the um Look at that territory. This one's got a time warp effect. It's got pretty nice uh temperature tolerance. Not tolerant fly though. Interestingly, watery comb and soul comb. Oh, it does, it does show it. 
Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Uh, this this section then of the uh, of Binny's mods. We've got to start somewhere. Um, it's not showing me that. Even though that is is that not the master database? It is so. Oh well. I guess there was going to be something wrong. I do wonder what the time warp effect does. I've got. I think that was actually in the other one though. I think that was in my other version. Now, how do you get to it? Then is the question. This is perhaps what's not showing up correctly. Ah, I was hoping it would. Hmm. I feel like it's a water bee though, because if you look at what the drop is. The drop is watery comb and soul comb. Interesting. Yeah, you see, a lot of these are actually showing up in the Mutatron. So a lot of stuff is now showing up in the Mutatron. Um, a lot of the botany stuff. It's not quite there yet. Um, I was going to do the tree stuff as well. I may do that as well. There'll be a lot of tree stuff for me. One of these use crystalline pollen. Hmm. They always do all the coloured bees, they do, don't they? All the coloured bees actually use diligent bees. And then you make the. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure about these coloured bees really. I don't see the point of them. Put them to make dyes. I guess it is kind of cool. Um, yeah, there still doesn't seem to be enough stuff in the. Uh, Here's some Tinker's ones. But I wonder if this can even produce anything. No, you see, because I haven't got Tinker's Construct, the Manuelin bee is not going to actually produce uh, anything. But that is obviously a Tinker's Construct bee there. Hmm. Yeah, this I believe was a, is a new a new bee that I haven't even seen because it's using a version which I haven't seen yet. Well, maybe I did see that. Yeah, it's pretty standard Eldritch bee. What about the nameless bee. This is going. This is going place I haven't seen. Nameless Vivina goes into forlorn. Any special note? Abandoned. Draconic. Looks pretty high. We get from the draconic. Draconic dust. Draconic chunk. Dragon egg. Eh? Hmm. Alright, so I can't see how. Okay, so I wanted to see that. I, I'm kind of back to this. To unfortunately, I, I won't. Oh, you can see the centrifuge products at least. I've never heard of that one. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, I obviously haven't even played around with. Um, what I want to do then is. Uh, we'll just get ourselves a capacitor bank and we'll I want to see if we get spirit and soul beads I guess I mean there let's see if we can get them you see of course there, there may be a problem that we're not actually going to be able to do some of this but we'll see anyway 
So these should be all be filling up nicely. They are. So let's see if we can work out how to get the spirit and soul. Let's see if there's enough in the uh, documentation. Alright, there is. Ah, this is interesting. Uh, wow, you need an ethereal, which is all the way up, up at Arcane and Supernatural. And the aware, which is a change in ethereal. Hmm, interesting. So here's an interesting thing, right? In in the last episode, I, I began looking at some of the hive bees, just from forestry and magic bees. Um, what I wanted to do there is I just want to get the uh, the heart the correct hive. So they're the curious, the unusual, and the the resonating. So you recall basically the way it works is um, uh, yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's right. Yeah. So these hives. Um, yeah, so basically, this is forestry hive, this is a forestry hive, this is a forestry hive, this is a forestry, this is forestry, this is forestry, and these three magic bees, these four are Billy's mods, right? So that's how it works, anyway. So we'll look at these four hives as well. I could, in fact, do um, the process. Now I'm thinking about it, I could actually do the process that I was thinking about um, with the whole lot now. Uh, maybe I will. Maybe I will, not in this video though. So what we're going to do anyway is just going to... Um, I don't know, I suppose I probably should. I suppose they're, they're, they're kind of... Well, yeah, I probably will actually. Um, now I was unaware basically whether this was going to work when I tried this last time. So I basically just put fortune and, and looting because I don't know. Like looting suggests it for a sword, though. But you never know. I don't, you know, it could work. All I know is that if, if, if I mean, let's be honest, it's not going to hurt anyway. All right, so if we look at what we've got here, then. We'll just uh, move some of these bees around. So we're going to see what we get, first of all, from the Curious Hive. Um... Basically, I want to see where the attune comes from. I don't think it's that one, though. No, the Curious Hive just has the mystical ones. Mm, if I had to guess, I would say it's the other one. The, um... Uh, what's this Hive? The unusual hive just has unusual. I mean, so it's a bit obvious. If I had to guess, I would say um, that the attuned are going to come from the blue one. It makes it would make more sense. Yeah, there's a lot less. Wow, did my scoot really break? No, I don't know. Yeah, I feel I'm not sure where the attune comes from, but I'm pretty sure the attune is a hive bee. I wish it did actually tell me that. It'd be it'd be, it'd be great if it did. Yeah, because if you look at this. If you look at the uh, mutations, it's pretty obvious that it's uh, a hive bee. Hmm. Yeah. So, like I say, I, I I'm going to assume it comes from the resonating hive. I will need to check the where the tune bee comes from. So I'm probably going to have to find out. Um. But we could look at we could look at actually the hive, some of the other hives. So there's going to be some rare drops from these hives as well. We'll just uh, leave these beads for now. There are going to be some rare drops from these. I'm not sure how many rare drops we're going to get, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure that fortune thing works, so I won't do it again. I want to look at the rocky bees as well, because I'm not sure exactly why they... Uh, um, and the one, I mean, of course, there's a few things I'm not looking at. I'm not looking at Ars Magic Bees, Thorncroft Bees, Blood Magic Bees, um, and the, uh, uh, what was the other thing? 
Mm. My Britannia bees. This set other things though. Anything different? The water ones, we did actually get a Valiant out of it. Interesting. Rocky, you've got nothing. This one's definitely got a... a um, embittered, eh? Remember with that one? Oh, did I just not break it properly? No, I did. Do I need to use a, a vanilla scoop for it? It must be, maybe it's funny like that. No, the marble hive does not want to break. Hmm. There's no marble bee. What is going on with the marble hive, I wonder? I wonder what this is going on. That's very strange. So there's fun, something funky going on with the mobile hub. This, like I said, it's not really what I was looking at in the video. That's good to know, though, anyway. So, yeah. So I wanted to look at um, the soul and the spirit bees, didn't I? This is what we were doing. So we're going to need an aware bee, which obviously comes from the attune, which, like I say, is, is a hive bee. Arcade Supernatural, I have already done that there. So it's interesting that the soul bee is like this. Because this is this soul bee is, is definitely part of um uh extra B extra bees. So if we look at it, we should see that it's actually in the list here. Where would it be in the list? Hmm. This stuff I find interesting as well. You see, these are all vanilla bees. Yeah, I really didn't realise it was like that though. Hmm. I still feel a bit annoyed about the water thing though. Because this is the thing, I feel like the water bee was part of forestry originally. But because it's not now, it makes things a little bit differently. I don't know. Yeah, this is not correct, is it? No. Basically, the, the the what's going on here is that everything is just being lumped into this category. This is not. This is not how it should be. And this is why I've got a separate um, file for. Um, I mean, admittedly, there's only like seven pages of bees, so it, it shouldn't be that hard to be able to tell the difference if I'm playing constantly with a pack without having these mods in it. But it's a shame they has to do it like this. This, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I mean, the water bees don't even really exist. Yeah, in magic bees, water bees just don't exist. Um, and they don't exist in forestry. They only exist in Binny's mods. Um, and that's an interesting thing to think about. Because it seems like that's not the case, but it is. Let's look at the auric bee. Hmm. I didn't think it was going to be like that. Let's look at the jaded bee. So this should... Yeah, you see, this has been overwritten with the pollination of, of maximum on the forest a little. Yeah, you can see. It. Look, it even looks, even looks a bit fucked up here. I mean, it's a ridiculously good bee. Um...
But yeah, that is going to pollinate everything incredibly fast. There is also another bee. I thought the auric bee was... Or maybe it's called the aura bee. No. See, I thought the auric bee was the same at the same trait. I was reading, there's a page, there's a page on one of the wikis that says... Uh, yeah, it says that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, you see, there's nothing, there's nothing to... Um, hmm. So to get to the soul drone then, I guess it is, we would need the spirit, and then we'll go some soul. From soul we can go, we get memory comb and soul comb. And you get the intellect drops that will get us. What's going to provide the, that's, so basically this is for experience this thing. So the soul will require the aware. The aware, like I've mentioned before, um, it's interesting that it's like that. Basically, it requires an attuned, which is, um, I believe, to be a hive bee from either the curious, the unusual, or the resonating hives. But it's a rare drop in the same way that Valiant is a rare drop. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Um, and the ethereal, of course, is the arcane supernatural, so you're going to need to go through... Um, all the eldritch stuff. So if you look at arcane, you can see esoteric and mysterious, esoteric and eldritch. Um, yeah, the supernatural is charmed and enchanted. And I went through all this sort of stuff. The cultivated with the eldritch. Basically, they both require an eldritch. Um, and yeah, the others are sort of um, you know like charmed. It's going to be cultivated and eldritch. Stuff like that, and if you look at the arcane, the esoteric was the other thing you really needed. Cultivated and eldritch, uh, but yeah, you can see how. I mean, obviously the 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 um, the eldritch is very. It's still pretty much the same here. It's always going to be a magic bee uh, hive. So either the sorceress, the unusual, the attuned, or the mystical, and you just mix that with the cultivated. Um, So yeah, I mean that is really all you need for it, isn't it? Uh, to get the spirit bee, and once you've got the spirit bee, uh, you can go. Uh, so the spirit bee will actually get twenty-two percent for memory comb which is going to give the intellect drop, which is obviously for experience, and the soul comb. Uh, and what does the soul comb give? Soulful wax. So this is for soul frames, isn't it? Well, it's for quite a lot of stuff from the looks of it. These recipes look like they've massively under... Uh, I wonder what these... Yeah, these recipes look really super cheap now. I don't know why that is. Yeah, you see, and yeah, this is basically just to make the frames. And uh, we can sort of assume, I suppose, that with the frames that some of the ingredients, like I know for like, like a soul frame, how do you make that then? The soul frame, I'm pretty sure, is for mutations. Yeah, you see, that's a really basic frame with just one piece of soul sand. And, it's, and, and the impregnated frame is really easy, but yeah. Um. But yeah, anyway, I think I've talked enough about this stuff for now. Uh, gender Street is still not looking hugely different. Some of this stuff is a bit different, I guess. There are a few things I haven't actually looked at. Mutagen tank, I don't think I've ever looked at that. What is it? Can you, is it freestanding? Or do you have to... No, it's not, is it? I don't know what that is going on with the mutagen tank. I just need tin and glass for it. A pollen collection kit. Really? So there's some interesting new items, I guess, that perhaps I haven't seen. But where would I put the pollen collection? Not in an apiary, would I? And why would I need that when I've got a sieve? Oh, I don't have a sieve. What? Yeah, I do have it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I do have the sieve upgrade, so I wouldn't need it. So what's the point of that? Isn't that what a sieve is for? 
interesting. Um, but yeah. And what do the what do these things do anyway? Probably not a huge amount, but they just do everything incredibly slowly, don't they? Takes a random allele from a bee tree or other individual, copies it into an empty sequence file. So it's basically just like the uh, sampler. Um, in terms, it does exactly the same as a sampler, but it requires ethanol and enzyme. The polymerizer, what does the polymerizer do then? What do you mean amplified in the polymerizer? Hmm. I'm not sure exactly what this one does. It maybe makes the serums better. But yeah, there's lots of interesting things. But I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on looking at them. But like I say, the main focus of this video, which you kind of I mean I did get a little bit distracted here, but um like I mentioned, the way to get um uh experience uh via the memory combs, you can use the aware bees, of course. Uh, which are just ethereal and aware, and that goes through the uh, the arcane supernatural, which I've spoken about with Eldridge, cultivated, uh, and esoteric bees being the main focus here. You can see the esoteric. There's a hive bee. Um, actually, sorry, mysterious is not a hive bee. Uh, sorceress, unusual. Yeah, sorceress, unusual, and um, uh, oh man. I need to remember these fucking hive bees. Sorcerer is unusual and mystical, yeah. Hmm. Ah, oh, the invisible queen as well. Yeah, some of these ones are very, very high tier. I can't believe they're actually... Um, hmm. The mutable way. Let's see all these. Crumbling. I don't think I did. This looks new. Transmuting Queen. Oh, wow. What are we going to get from the Transmuting Comb, I wonder? Unstable propolis. Interesting. That must be extra utilities. Let's look at all these combs very quickly. I want to see if there's any interesting things we get. Phased pollen, eh? Timely and lord. Look at the handful of jelly babies. Interesting, but yeah, like I say, I'm going to um, uh, I'm going to just leave it there. I think. Um, obviously, there's some uh, big reactors integration here. There's a lot of integration actually with more mods, uh, compost, and it might even be stuff with like garden core and stuff like that. Uh, these ones have not been written yet, from the looks of it. Mulch. This looks. This looks like some new forestry stuff coming in. Uh, I don't think it's too too important though, really. All these different tinted stuff. What was that? Oh, that's great tinted honey. Just looks a bit weird. But yeah, uh, olivine. Eh? So a bit of Greg Tech innovation. I mean, I, I assume that's Greg Tech. I remember olivine being in Greg Tech, so maybe it's like that. Um. Sphalerite? I can't remember what mod that's in. I've heard it named before. Cinnabar, Bauxite. Again, this looks like Greg Tech, actually. Yeah, this is definitely Greg Tech, isn't it? So this should... Well, that'd be interesting. I don't know how they're going to mix it with Greg Tech, though, to be honest. Iridium and steel could be anything, really. Tungsten, titanium... It doesn't really strike me as really mixing for that well with Greg Tech. It strikes me as mixing better with, um, I don't know, it's a strange path to go down. They'd probably be better off just mixing with something like Decocraft or something. 
Because this could probably go a little bit far. I mean, what are you going to do with that? Nothing, because it hasn't been written yet. Um, it's, a, it's amazing, the, the kind of... The, it's like... It's going to be very interesting to see what add-ons and stuff come out. I think forestry... I feel like the grid tech stuff is not... I don't know. I don't know. I, I, can't really, I don't really know how popular grid tech is, though. Hmm. Energy drop. Depleted honey crystal. Interesting. So there's quite... Anyway, so like I say, there's a lot of interesting uh, uh, drops. What? You require alcohol for the tipsy drop and it creates what exactly? I guess it makes beer or something. I wonder if that is how it is. That must just make water. Even though that's not, that's not how the menu looks. And this is going to be the same thing, isn't it? But a lot of these not actually been written yet. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there because yeah, it's interesting looking through some of like because obviously this is a really full featured version here I'm using, um, but I'm gonna leave it there anyway. So thanks for watching.